like balloons? Oh, good. I'm going to teach you how to make a balloon. <laughs> oh, my God. I love this cat. He's such a good boy. Look at this guy. He's so fat. Yeah, he's so fat. Look at this fat cat. Oh, a fat cat. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. Don't scratch me, you big jerk. Oh, my God. Ah! That's so funny. <laughs> All right. YouTube, what's up? It's Scott Kazan, the balloon man. And today, you are going to learn how to make the fastest minion possible without taking away from the attention to detail. Not only will it be fast, but it will have all the little details that a lot of minions I've seen on YouTube have been just glossed over and overlooked. I'm not saying the other minions are bad. I'm just saying mine has a little bit more detail. So guys, before I teach you how to make the minion, I just want to talk about something. If you go to my channel and you want to learn how to make a balloon, do me a favor. Don't click through it. Just sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. I know everybody's got ADD, and no one can sit through more than two minutes without fast-forwarding, and I do the same thing, but my videos are different than other people's because I'm talking about little intricacies as I'm teaching the balloon that you would have not known otherwise because every balloon I've made, I've made over a thousand times at a gig, so I know first-hand experience. If you just rush through it, you're not going to get the full in-depth tutorial that I'm giving you. So just hang back and go for the ride. First thing you will need is a yellow balloon. And I finally found a use for 321s. I so rarely, rarely, rarely use 321s, but today is the day. Now, if you don't have 321s, I would recommend using a 350 or 360. And if you don't have those, then you could probably choose a 260 and it's good enough. Okay, um, the problem is you want to like show off and make like the biggest, fanciest minion with a 646, be my guest. But these things are like the hot ticket right now. Okay, they're selling like hotcakes. So if you start getting into a minion mode where you're just making minions all night, you can't be using all your 646s. All right, that's a lot of money. So we're going to blow it up, but then we're going to make sure it has a lot of wiggle room. So let's some air out and make sure it's nice and soft. Now, if you're going to make the minion's face, remember the goggles are going to go here and the little hair is going to go here. And you need a little place to put the mouth. So you're going to want to twist the bubble down here and then a pinch twist. And then what I usually do is I usually make a small bubble, break this off and tie it just like this. Okay, so this is what was supposed to happen right here. Um, I've been making balloons so much that my hands are a little achy and fragile. And the really crazy thing is I clipped my thumbnail too short, and I was hand-breaking so much that, like, the tip of my thumb was hurting. Boy, I can really feel the pain in my hands. So the next thing you'll need is a yellow 260 in which the minion doesn't have long arms, so you can make very short arms. Okay, and just twist it in, and try to make both sides the same. You could probably save this piece for another set of arms if you're really making back-to-back -back minions, okay? It's all about being very efficient, so you can break this piece and save it, and you got another minion ready to go. Now, this next step is really, really cool. I was watching Shy Town Twister's Minion, which is a really awesome YouTube channel. You guys got to check it out. That guy is also the admin for the Facebook forum, Balloon Twister Central, which is by far my favorite Facebook forum to discuss anything balloon related. What he taught was something where I said to myself, oh my God, why didn't I think of that? Hello, it's so right there in front of my face. I should have thought of this first, but... In any case, I thought of it now, and this is what we're going to do. We're going to make a very, very, very small balloon, because what we're going to make out of this one balloon is two gloves and the feet, all out of one balloon. 
thus making this balloon very efficient like I've been preaching. Very small loops, very small pinch twist, just traditional gloves. When you make a glove for a character, this is generally how you would make a, character, a, a glove for a character. And then you would wrap the 260 just around a few times because this is actually take two because the first time I did this, the balloon popped. So learn from my mistakes. Now, make a very small bubble and do the same thing. Pinch twist, pinch twist loop. Very small loop. And I would say run it through just a few times. I think that would be very, very beneficial. Twist it, just wrap it around, make sure it's in there real good. So now, break this piece off and save it. These are your feet. Plenty of room to spare. Very, very efficient. Actually, the reason why I preach efficiency is because I actually ran out of black and ran out of blue at this crazy carnival where I was making minions all night. And if I wasn't so efficient, I would have ran out like an hour before I was finished. And it would have been that much worse. So, let's break this piece in the middle. Pow! Now you got two little gloves. Save the gloves, put them down for now. And we have our feet. Let's put that down for now. Now we're going to make the overalls. Now, there's two ways to make the overalls. The overalls are traditional Mario overalls. Anyone that knows how to make a Mario, you know you make them like a plumber outfit. You gave them the shoulder straps and the pants. All right? But like I said, I ran out of balloons. So I had to really turn nothing into something. And I was using two balloons originally to make the overalls. But I ended up making the overalls out of one balloon, and it still looked great. So that's what I'm going to teach you. The Minions overalls are dark blue. If you add a dark blue, go with light blue. But what I do is pinch twist and then a loop. Okay? And make sure the loop is big enough that you're going to run the little arm through it. Or at least you can, you know, finagle it in there. Now you're going to come across very short and do the same thing. Pinch twist loop. And this is what you got. Now, the way I save time is I just put both feet together. There's no point in having two separate feet. It really, it, it's a non-issue. So you might as well just make both feet together. Okay? Make a pinch twist. And come back up. Down and up. And actually, what you could also do with this extra piece is just run it across. So you have two balloons in the middle, which would be a little bit more um, stable. You'll see what I mean in a second. Let's break that. Tie that extra scrap in. Okay, so this is what you got. And again, this is going to be very efficient for you. So now, let's get this into this. Oh, by the way, the pinch twist broke. It's leaking, but let's just keep going. I don't care. Let's get this. Open it up. Push the arm through. Get the other arm. Push that arm through. And then what you want to do is you want to really get the two overalls to be as close as possible. So just try to finagle that all the way as much as you can. And right here, this is already looking very, very good. All right. So now let's get the gloves on. Simple, easy peasy. And bam. Now let's just say you don't have this extra give. When you tie this in, you can just make feet. like that, right? But if you have the space, you can make two loopy feet, which look better. And then you can just take that extra strap and tie it right in. And 
And oh man, is that looking good. Now, I didn't have black 160s for the goggles, which is definitely what I would recommend is a black 160. I had 260s, so the goggles were a little big, and I would have preferred to use a 160. And if you're ultra efficient, you might as well use the 260 because you can tie the black and the white together. About 90% of my designs use the double tie together. Now you can try to stick a 5 inch round in there, but if you make the 5 inch round too big, it's going to be really hard to get it to stay put and the eye is going to bulge out, it could pop out. It's, you don't want to deal with that. If you were to use this design this way, this is why I like tying balloons in together, because like I said, speed is the name of the game. Then all you would have to do is push this thing in the little gap, a white balloon, run through it, and you have a goggle, just like that. If you were to make a two-eyed minion, I guess just off the top of my head, you'd make two eyes and you come across. And there it is. Good enough. All right, so tie that in. Make sure he's got a little room for his brains. Break that off. And there you have it. That is the super efficient, balloon-saving, time-saving minion. Everybody loves a stick. Everybody loves minions on a stick. When are you guys going to get some sticks? Huh? Are you going to get some sticks? Are you going to get some sticks? <laughs> All right, so what I normally do is I put the stick in between the pinch twist, and I don't like the stick to fall out. So if you have that two bubbles there, you can stick it right there in between. If not, you take this extra strap and you just wrap it around a few times. So guys, I hope you like this video. I uh, really think this is the best minion to go with at a gig because it's fast and it's simple and it's awesome. You guys, listen, you can show off all you want, but at the end of the day, every kid has to get a balloon and they have to get a balloon quickly. You don't want them to wait too long. So that's why I preach speed and efficiency. You're not gonna find a better channel to teach you how to make balloons efficiently and faster than on this channel. So I hope you guys like this video. Thumbs up it, comment, subscribe, and I appreciate all the constructive criticism. See ya.